this last best of five. It's going to be Liquid versus Secret. Most easy rotation. I've been watching this mid mashup, and it's looking pretty good for Nisha. Again, always hard to tell how much of those last hits are spiders. But Koikla stayed very aggressive and constantly tried to hit the TA, knock off Refraction, and just keep Nisha as low as possible. Down bottom, we will see that Zeus Same. finally get taken down. <laughs> yeah, I was watching top. top. Same time. Is Boxy that... finishes off Zyze. I mean, this is certainly the way to do it. We did not see a rotation like this with the last Brood TA matchup. They just saw Nisha, so they know exactly where he is right now. A little scary. They'll walk right into Puppy. Another web comes down, and Telekinesis from Tiger. Uh, I think tried to cliff him, but yes, fell short. It, no, he wanted to throw on Nisha. He was hoping Nisha uh, was still close. I see. Got it. And we back off again. <laughs> Oxy's back! But it's a Blink Dagger Templar Assassin, so... Oh, Nisha's chasing. He wants it. Yeah, Boxy, no blink. I think Nisha has this. There it is. Now Koikla's on the way over. Damage from the Zeus. This is going to be close as well, but Zai drops him a heal and a shield. Koikla has to back up. Almost dies to the Assassinate. Shrapnel flies. Yapsor predicts the movement, but doesn't have the range. Instead, it's Insania getting chased down. Still grabs the rune, but no hope for survival. Attack speed for the vast majority of its damage. And the levels are really important because, like, buying levels is basically buying survivability, which is what you're trying to buy in a lot of supports anyway. That's it's a down bottom. Look at it. They go on the map. Yep. Easy kill. They'll be close to them. Still a little bit too far for Mickey to jump, but it looks like there were some smoked up heroes here. So they might not know the, the extent of the, the heroes coming through next to Taiga. Yeah, Taiga's in big trouble. Does have that Ghost Scepter, but actually doesn't really mitigate that much. Goes down, and the rest of Liquid retreat. He's probably a, a really solid teammate. He probably listens, right? People that don't talk a lot tend to listen better. Now, Boxy's going in for this. Oh, it's oh, a nice got... Sonic Wave. Oh, he didn't get it? He didn't get it. it oh, I thought late. for sure he got that. Well, wow. Age is now on Nisha. Elder Dragon form used as the Dragon Tail comes out. Secret come back to fight. They save Matsu, and now they want to turn on the Mickey. It's a tanky target, but with the Deso, they can actually bring him down, and they will. Nisha credited with the kill. Looking for more. They'll jump in. Taiga, he's going to get chased down. Again, the Ghost Scepter just buffs up the ult from Yapsor, and now they finish him off. That's two dead on the side of Liquid. Tier 1 tower mid. Might not fall. Looks like Secret are happy just to back up. They wanted to back up anyway. The Liquid were the aggressors there. All five of Liquid here. Posturing like they want to take a fight. Secret only have three, and now two is Nisha and Yapsor say, All right, Zai, good luck to you, bud. You got borrowed time, right? You're good. And it's going to be Zai versus five. This poor little devil. This handsome young <laughs> Swede is going to get left behind. They will instantly pop the ulti, and then that's going to give Mickey the opportunity for the blink stun. But who's going to fall up after that? I guess they just got a sonic wave. Oh, Yapsor, he interrupts it. They're probably still going to kill him, but he tanks this gank. Well, that sonic wave got blocked by refraction. Puppy on the low ground, and now the rest of the fight breaks out. Nisha in the middle of the fray, but this Ember clears out most of the spiders. This is probably going to be the Aegis. Nisha, Nisha has, still BKB, has the BKB, though. BKB, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you want to fight this. Good call, Liquid. Do not stick around for this. So when does this officially become meta? Like, when can I start picking support sniper in my pub? People already and, uh, have been. Look what it just did a quick for mid, dude. It just set up I... for that blink. Oh, and he lives? No. Nisha does grab it. And that's going to be a tall order. This TA is starting to get really out of control. And yeah, and Zania just got his TP canceled. Tried to get out of there in the tree line, but uh, was scared of by the shrapnel and then popped by the assassinate. With that yes, that is uh, actually kind of tempting, but Abba's is just shield really is, good. Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, Miss Coil, it's in a five-second cooldown, though. Initiation here, Mickey jumps in, just gets bursted down. Pops his BKB, but Nisha trying to chase. Missing a couple, God, needs he's one tanky. more. Oh! Can't quite finish him off, and now Nisha's going to lose his BKB on the backside of the fight. Koikba trying to run out. No deaths yet, but it looks like Secret have the advantage. They'll kill Boxy, immediate buyback. Mickey forced to retreat is now Taiga getting chased down by Zai. Ghost Scepter buys him a little time. But all of Secret chasing him down. And another stun from the Absor Sniper in the back. That is two kills up for Secret. Now Roshan. Hard to believe that uh, still wasn't able to get the kill. Like chasing that far with Nisha on that uh, Templar Assassin with all the items he has. They still get out, but uh, not going to matter too much. They're going for the kill in the back line on the Yaps or using the vision. And they're just going to jump Koifa. Matsu jumps in and Koifa goes down so yeah, quickly. So
his American accent, you know? Really? Well, like we're gonna have to bring, bring the video. <laughs> Iger, I stun you. I got gonna be in trouble again. I don't know if this Ghost Scepter was the play against Sniper. Uh, he is gonna live Dude, here, there's I a think. TA. Like, you had to buy it. I, I guess so. Yeah, you're probably right. It's actually just this area the entire time. As Matu has a Radiance and Cheese. Like, they're trying to draw him deeper, it feels like, to Boxy to see if they could maybe catch him off guard here. Can they chain him down? This is going to be a tough kill still. They're going to go for it. They drop the Sonic Wave. Matu, though, pops the Cheese. Now disarmed. Does have some remnants. BKB oh, used. Oh, the backup. It's coming. Matu trying to make it out, but another stun. He'll fall. And Sadia dies to Yapsor. And now Nisha pressing, pressing in. Finds Mickey, but can't stop him. Every time I look at him, he actually has a new item. And they're always like these swords. He's, it's a very, yes. very violent guy here. Even the yes. neutral item. He's got a lot of weaponry. Now, the repair kit for Liquid will come in handy. A great game for a repair kit. And they'll save the tier three. Meanwhile, in the back, though, the Koikster, he gets stunned up. A pinata, perhaps. The TA. Can't kill the spiders, but he kills the big one. Quake, but can't run away from it. BKB won't save you. Now back in the mid, Puppy initiated on, stunned up, but he's got three points of the attendance. There, there Good were thing. four heroes there. That was pretty depressing. He also has a Crimson Guard and a Mechanism, so... He's more farm than Zai. Uh, well, Midas... Midas will do that, I guess. It is 32 minutes, but here we go. Back in on the Tier 3 Repair Kit, still going. They obliterate Foxy. No buyback. Remember, he used it around Rose. Oh, here Not comes another one. <laughs> Broodmother will buy back, though, and Insania. Already a good fight for Secret, but now a lot of heroes on Liquid. Another ult from Yapsor, shutting down Koik, but his BKB still on cooldown for a few seconds. Now it's Big A trying to repel this front line. Nisha gets low, but remember, still has Aegis and BKB in his backpack. That's how confident Nisha is right now. He's like, dude, I got Aegis. I'm not going to use this BKB before Aegis. Yeah, that's a good point. It's only an eight and a half second cooldown, though. So not a, a hard spell to spam. Nisha initiated on. This might be the Aegis. Four staffs, though, keeping him alive. Nick A trying to pursue, but a Photic Shield, so annoying. They can't even kill him once, let alone twice. Now Mick A back in the regular dragon form. The glyph has been used. The dice roll that you'll get the mango tree. Oh, no, Nisha's stealing them. That's what's happening. Look at this. Uh, He's bringing Nisha. on his courier so he can stay on the map. How dare he while he kills Nisha. Nisha. Well, he is going to kill Boxy, so all right. <laughs> Maybe it's worth it to give him a couple of mangoes. BKB used by Mickey. BKB used by Koikba. They're trying everything they can, but Matu. He's one beefy mother. He's going to survive. Zai throwing out so much sustain for his team with these shields. The quickening gem paying dividends as Nick A gets brought down. And this could be the end for Liquid in game number one. Three heroes on the sideline. No buyback. Insania does TP into his own well. But GG is called and secret. Take game one in pretty convincing fashion. So they're a little rough early on. You know, like disruptors like that. You get the agonims and he feels like a god in the support role. Yeah. Bayan is somewhat similar. His talents are incredible. We'll see Zai take some damage, but... From to turn back. They're actually going to go back in. They want to try to kill Insania. And Sai knows how tanky he is, even without Dragon Blood, or does he? <laughs> I don't think he does. Okay, Zai. A, uh, a rare mistake there. They do end up going one for one. The bottom engagement. He's TP now down to the bottom lane because he wants out of that relationship. Oh, they find Insania. Follow up stuns. They'll need a few more. Magic Missile almost saves him, but not quite. Yapsor taking credit for that kill. Kind of interesting to see the different approach to death. Look at these body blocks up top. Do you see this from Puppy? Yep. Insania. Oh, it's going to be Mickey that's in trouble. He gets stunned up. Matu coming in. Jingo at full stacks. And they've got him. But maybe a counter kill. Matu going to take a tower shot. Can't make it out of the dissimilate. They go one for one. They have another stun if Insania can get the distance. Gapsor on the run. But Nisha's here. It's a three on three. And I think Secret have the superior HP pools. Does have exorcism. Choosing to hold it for now. Spirit Siphon on the I love Insania. how he's completely the alone. Like his teammates yep. are just now coming in. They're on the way. Insania might still fall, but he's focused on Koikba. This is the big target. Nisha knows his limits and finds oh, it. Oh, this is bad. Now in too far. Taiga goes down. And this is a lot of space for the Dragonite. Zai just happy as a clam down bottom. Also, some recovery for Boxy, though. At least Boxy's level six. Like, that's a, a formidable uh, ally to now have come into these engagements in the Shock Room. Puppy brought down low. 
Another great stun from Yapsor. Oh, and heading to the tree line. Not gonna work so well against the Timber Saw. Matu's still going though. Big damage onto Koik, but no follow up. Unfortunately, like they do have the multi shot. And they've been distracted. <laughs> yeah, they've been a little busy. He's in the mid lane Yapsor, being gone on. He'll get caught, and that should be the end of him. That courier comes in, and that'll get him his level six at least when he comes back. And tower exchange, pressure on the tier one mid, but this tier one up top is so low, Secret will finish it off, and then they are going to TP in. They don't push that fast on Liquid, so there is a potential defense coming out of Secret. Dragon on the side, finds Taiga. Resonant Pulse is there, and it'll just be a kill on the Rubik, but it's not even a tower trade. Uh, the Monkey King's tree, we've certainly seen that happen, especially in those OG matches. Well, they're gonna smoke mid, they're looking for the swap initiation, but it's only level six, it's so short! Oh my oh. god, you can't reach it! Wow, that's paid for. Oh. It's like right on the edge. And you gotta be next to him for that to work. Now the monkey can coming in. Can they cut the tree? They can't! Oh, he does get hexed up. Follow up stun. Now Insania on the run. He'll get brought down by a brief fire. Stinky Pinky on to Taiga. That's two supports down. And now Mick A, he's gonna be caught. He'll try to TP home. Zai does not have a dragon tail, but they got a hex. It's Yapsor for the win as they get a double on Zai. Three dead for Team Liquid. They're going for their play. They're smoking oh, at good. the Aegis. They have no cares anymore. Showtime. Old maneuver. You know, sometimes they'll split after Roche. This ain't one of them. This is uh, smoking into all five. Also, a Yule's up on the DP. They're going to charge right in. Boxy, confidence up on the high ground. Swap on Nisha. Some follow-up damage, but Zai's in the back line. Him and Matu have found Mikke, and they're doing big damage. Nisha now pops the ultimate. Wukong's command flies, and Mikke will be the first to fall. Boxy off to the side, trying to get back. The bench has already gone down. He'll get stunned up, and it's a disaster. Liquid getting cleaned up. The Void Spirit will make it back to the base. Taiga may yet survive. Ooh, it's going to be close. Nope, the urn ticks him down. That was painful. You know, Boxy's going to try to get a Lotus. It'll help. Drow working on the Manta. Not bad, but also not that scary. Void Spirit oh, going to the Drow. Eggs. Oh, there we go, the Gust. Is it going to make a difference, though? The Yule Scepter locks her up. Follow up Boundless Strike. Resonant Pulse. Not going to make a difference. GG. They call it. They know. Wow. Wow. A quick game two. 19 minute win for Team Secret. Just great, methodical. We call those variables that exist in the side lane that don't exist in the mid because stuff be static in that mid lane. It's just 1v1s all the time. Yes. Oh, that's not so bad for Liquid. And this mid matchup. Up top, Taiga. Being oh. run down by Puppy here. He's got the is play. Stone. The first blood. Yes, oh. indeed. Oh, man. Quite a bit harassed down bottom here. Back in range of the aura once again here. Zai looking to close in with the grip of death. And oh, Mickey. <laughs> You're a risky man. There's still two fairy fires on Zai, so they, they can't try and go in on him right now. Oh, and that death pulse is actually going to hit Mickey. It's a kill. Yeah, did not have the math factored in for that Fable, I don't believe. <laughs> this is the risky place for Mickey. Oh. And back in the mid, picture in picture here is Puppy getting dove on by the exorcism. And Zai continuing to pressure in the bottom lane. This is madness. Now Primal Roar in the mid on to Taiga. So they'll go one for one there, but Koikba does grab the tower. That still feels kind of worth down bottom. They're trying to get Zai with a TP from Insania, the long range blast, but there's the raindrop. They're going to get Koikba mid. This could be big. He's got Spirit Siphon on two. Yapsor and Nisha. Oh, they can't get him. Bottom lane, though, they do get Zai. Yeah, they've only gotten the jelly so far. Puppy and Insania bump into each other. Ward comes down, immediately killed by Insania. Now Puppy getting body, body blocked a little bit. Shackle doesn't latch somehow, but still the power shot comes through. The Pupster still going to be able to live. Taiga pulled back. They'll drop a Primal Roar for this. They want the kill, and they've got it. Wildwing Ripper dancing on his corpse. He's just holding it there. As Boxy... Matsu's also rotated. Arena comes down. Matsu pops the true form. It does go off, but he's taking power shots. He gets brought down. All right. Big kill for Liquid. That is the Ghost Pop, though. They want more, and they still have that Observer Sentry combo. They see uh, he has the TP. So they just have to not waste the Searing Chains of the Shackle, but I think they're good. And they've got it. And yeah, Ghost Shroud not going to save you there. Okay. A number of kills for Liquid. A lot of that coming off this vision again. Just big helps here as uh, they want another 
Yeah, sort of stuck around a bit too long. Okay. That's uh, three. Secret are coming in, though. They want to try to get this. Puppy helping out Zai. They're going to get it back just in time. Now, can Secret take a fight? They're going to lose Puppy. Zai may be in trouble, but Reaper Scythe comes out. It goes the other way. He still pops. Doesn't get the heals going in time. They bring down Koikva. Movements down bottom. Nisha does have a Primal Roar. He's pretty vulnerable right now. They're going to catch Insania up in the river, but Primal Roar comes down as he jumps on Boxy. Boxy Maybe still has everything. Good. He's Force trying to arena. drag it, yeah. yeah. Everything but HP. Now the spear comes out. Nisha pretty tanky, but not going to be able to survive, I don't think. Rooted in the wall. Damn, that was sick by Boxy. And now a buyback from Insania. Liquid, they want to take this fight. Can Secret make it out? Looking to retreat. The bear shackle doesn't latch, and instead they'll start to turn onto Taiga. There's the Ignis. Does not save Taiga. Zai still able to finish him off. Now they get Mickey. He's also going to go down. Yapsor gets three him with his own bolas. Yapsor. Not what the guy they, they want. Here? They need a They're big one. Starting to pincer in. Puppy is not the big one. They're holding their ultimates. They don't want to burn them here. Nice shackle onto the neutrals, but it gives Secret some time to counter initiate. Quickfa takes the roar. Reaper's scythe. He barely lives. Can they finish him off? And they can. Down comes the Ignis. Down comes the Arena. I think Secret's it's bailout inside. time. There's no follow up damage. Liquid now on the run. You can't fight without your exorcism. Mickey gets a little bit of mana. Now in Sania, he'll get caught for sure. All part of the plan for Liquid. Everyone else makes the retreat. What do they? What do they have versus the bear? Like just sitting there. I mean, they have the siphon, which is good. They have some percent base damage. It's always helpful. It helps. That's the Aegis reclaimed. I mean, maybe Now's secret time. Out next row. So they're gonna jump in on the Mop too. True form might be enough to save him. The Rubik is nearby, but the Arena helping out quite a bit. Koikla has now used the Exorcism, but Matsu's good. He's lived. Secret are here, and they are ready to fight. Big damage coming out. The DP put the rest again. Exorcism cut short prematurely. They're all standing in the Ignis, but it just doesn't matter. Secret what weather Man. the storm. They go in on the Mickey. They got plans tonight down. or something. Yeah. They are not messing around, dude. No, secret uh, places to go. I didn't know you could go anywhere right now, but apparently they've they've got some sort of plans happening later. Yeah, somebody's got a hot zoom date. Buyback on the Ember, but now Insania is going to fall. He'll be stuck on the sideline with DP. Boxy looking to make some god tier spear plays. He gets Puppy, but it'll be at the cost of his own life. <laughs> he kills himself to get Puppy, then tips him. And they're going to have to hold with it's three. Just this bear with the solar crest. Look at the auras on it. It's all so stacked. That, that was a hero. Tiger's just looking for the style shots while he's here now. But uh, the BKB has arrived for Nisha. Puppy's just de-warding right now. <laughs> well, Team Secret have now marched their way to victory. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling it. Of another I mean, tournament. Vegas. Yeah. This might be our, our final little skirmish. Yapsor just barely lives. I think they want that record. They need seven wins in a row. This will be three of them if they can just clean up this series here with a, a solid 3-0 as they're diving the well. They're saying, call uncle. Just tap out. Now they will go in on Denisha. Oh, lives. what a classic. Buys the he ghost buys scepter. The ghost scepter. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. They love You're to out see on it. The Koikba. You do. A Yapsor again on the edge of death. Now healed up by the Necro. And finally, the GG Gratz comes out. We've had enough dancing around in the well. And that will do it. A quick grand finals. Three games for Secret. Not a moment where Liquid had their heads above water. Secret had a plan. They executed. And they look fierce.